Hey guys, I'm joined today with Denner. Denner runs an agency doing email marketing and paid social. Hey Denner, how are you? Hey Jace, what's going on, man? How are you? Uh, everything on my end is good. I'm excited to see you. Hey, we've been doing this for a long time. Long time in the running to get this video done for you guys. Yeah, looking forward to, to making it happen. So we're going to be talking about uh, reporting today. Is that correct? Yeah, how to use um, Clay was customer reports with Google Sheets so you guys can look at data more clean because I know how frustrating it could be looking at each flow one by one and trying to look at all the data. So let's try to make it a little bit more clean. So amazing. The screen sharing is on and the floor is yours. So I'm excited to learn from you. Awesome, guys. Okay, let's see. Cool. Can you see my screen? Yeah, perfect. Okay. So if you guys don't know how to get the custom reports, one thing you will want to do is go to analytics and then you wanna see this thing called right here, custom reports. Then you press see all reports. Now you're gonna to wanna to create a custom report. I'm gonna go through the three I have built out already. So you guys can just copy and paste it. So the first one is we're gonna go over flows. So flows are the abandoned checkouts, sunset, went back, things like, th things like that. And you're gonna wanna obviously follow your metrics, right? Your open rates, your click-through rates, unsubscribe rates, your bounce rates. So these metrics right here, you just toggle them down and then select them, pretty simple. Um, but those metrics are things that you wanna look at. So if you wanna look, look at open rates, you'll select open rates, click-through rates, et cetera. After that, select conversion metric. Now I have mine on place orders because I wanna see the metrics on the order rates and stuff. So the first thing you wanna do is use unique profiles. Unique profiles are people that the first time going into that um, flow um, or that conversion. I have mine on some, same thing with place order. I have another one for value. So that's like the AOV um, really are the total of that, um, that email or flow. Now, you can put group by. Group by is how your data is going to look. So if you look below, you can see the flow name because that's where I have it right here is the flow message. So you go ahead and have the message pop up and you'll be able to see each individual message inside of your flow. So I don't know if you guys can hear my cat or not. <laughs> She's screaming in the background. But um, in each uh, on flow you have, you probably have like three to four emails, maybe five emails in that. And as you can see here, it's like three emails in a Bennett cart um, flow. And I can pull all three of those emails into one. So right now I have my group by flow message. And the reason why is for my Google sheet that I'll go over and show you guys. So you guys can try to make something else or have some inspiration from those. So after that, select your time frame. Um, it could be whatever time frame you want. I usually like to look at the whole 30 days that usually has enough data, enough users, enough um, people going through the flows. So then you press save and run report. After that, you press export after it goes ahead and populates all your data. So we'll go ahead and you can still see my screen in Google Sheets, right? Yep, exactly. So after that, we'll go ahead and go to Google Sheets. And this is how I have mine set up. So my data looks like this inside of Google Sheets. So clearly you can see, okay, open rates, click-through rates, unsubscribe rates, bounce rates. Um, and once it loads up completely, I can show you the rest of the data. So let's see. Um, so while, while that's loading, what you're doing right here, is this something as an agency that you're using uh, specifically for internal purposes? Or is this something that you're showing the clients, like how are you actually using this data? Yeah, so this data is, what I usually use it for is for the clients. So clients usually don't see this. This is just our stuff on top of optimization. So if we're looking at open rates, that needs to increase, that needs to decrease. Um, unsubscribe rate, same thing, bounce rates. You know, try to look at those red flags because most of the times when we're looking at the Clavio reports inside um, of the flows or emails, we're usually looking at open rates and click the rates and like place order rate, right? We're not looking at unsubscribe rate or bounce rate or spams. Um, but this, doing this, you're able to see, okay, what red flags am I having? What's the trend? 
do I need to remove emails in that flow? Like, is this last email here acting up? Um, so that's usually what I use this for, um, for at least the flow side of it, for the optimization. So that makes sense. My Google Sheet is kind of ro robust. I'm not gonna go too much into details with it, but um, once you have your report, you go in here, you import it. And right now I have it to where I can see all the data with a graph. So mine goes from four or five to 531. And over time, I can see the trends of open rates, right? For this one email, um, email messages will be the banded checkout email number two. So this is the average, the average percentage. So I see, okay, 28%, 31%. So I'm like, okay, cool. We're around 30% for this email, um, really depending on the week. Maybe I can also go ahead and look at this email and the results to see, okay, on what week did we have a 29% and did it did we have enough users that we had on a 33%? Things like that to see, okay, what's the um, what's the, really the trend that we can follow to see what metrics are we going to hit? Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah, so, it does. So, so just to clarify, so you use Clavia like you showed us. Yeah. You export the data, you import the data there. Yeah. And then, you know, are you going to go through like how you build the other things? Or I, I guess I'll let you kind of keep going. I guess my question is just is like, all right, so you, you export the data, you import it, and then how are you actually looking at it through the lens you know, of this, right? Yeah, so actually, let me show you guys an, a real example. Let's do that. Because that one's the raw sheet, so that one is not like actually um, real data. So let's use this one. So for, for instance, this week, um, like last month, I will pull in that data. So I believe it was like five, five. That was the fifth month of the year or something like that. Um, pull that in and then I will look, okay, check out email number one, open rates 49%, click through rates 17%, um, bounce rates 2%. I'm like, oh, bounce rates 2%. Like, why is that so high? Maybe, oh, a lot of people are using fake emails. So maybe that's a problem that they're not using authentic emails when they're doing the pop-up or something like that, or the bin and checkout, some things like that, that you guys will have to investigate. Um, same thing where I'm looking down and I'm looking at unsubscribe rates. Okay, well, I'm at a 1.9% on the new customer, thank you. Why am I at 1.9% on a thank you email after they just bought their first product? That's like, you know, that. so those type of things are things you will try to look out for. Um, and then I use the graph to mainly look at trends for open rates, um, click through rates. And sometimes I will use it for like the bounce rates, the um, spam rates and the total place order value to see if, if, um, if there's a trend with that as well. Because sometimes you will find out, okay, for instance, like this email right here, why is like the third email for that week, the four or five week higher um, than the second email? You know, was that just a very high place order rate by that one person? You know, things like that, that you will try to look for um, to try to optimize better, to try to see if you can improve it to get this value up higher. Um, and it, you also wanna put in like your total recipients. See, okay, does this number have a big effect on my open rates or my CTRs? So then you will look at, your graph and you'll be like, okay, well, based off of this one, right? The chances of some, and then you'd be like, oh, snap. Well, I had a whole bunch of people at 446 that comes came into this email on this week. But then, you know, on this week, 510 was only 116 people. So match that up with your paid traffic are enough people coming through there um, to receive those emails. And if you can match that up with your emails and your paid traffic, you can be like, okay, well, 400, 446 people came through with Facebook, uh, Facebook ads or whatever, right? That week, because we spent more money. We spent like $10,000 that week, right? And this is just hypothetical thinking. <laughs> um, we spent more money that week, but then we generated a higher return of people that week that converted into making a purchase, um, converting those users. So that's usually what I will look at when I'm looking through here. That answers your question. Amazing. 
So we, we use something somewhat similar. We use like Google Sheets and we're going to start using like Google Data Studio. Yeah. Um, but can you talk to like, what is your reason for not using Klaviyo? Obviously, you know, you're getting the data from Klaviyo. You know, is it because you have more control and more kind of custom ability? Yeah. Like, what is the reason in which you're actually moving this over to Google instead of looking at everything within Klaviyo? Yeah, so with Klaviyo, it's honestly a lot easier for me to look at everything inside Google Sheet. For example, usually when you look at your flows, you come here and then let's say the Ben and Cart one, right? And now you're looking at this like one by one, you're looking at view analytics and you're having to go through it and everything else. And it's kind of tedious when all you have to do, use custom reports for your flows, export all that data, import it into Google Sheet. And now you have a whole view of, okay, now all I have to do is just drop down, boom, 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 you know? And then I can see a clear view of all the data I want, metrics, unsubscribers, you know, et cetera. So I can see it. That's why I'll say a little bit easier than Calabio in my opinion. That's why I do it like this. Yeah, I think that's a great answer, right? Like it's all unified, unified. it's all in a central place. Yep. You don't have to keep opening new tabs or clicking to new windows, show analytics, look at each one individually. Um, it's a lot more ho holistic, right? So yeah. this is this this is great. Um, was there anything additional you wanted to go through here? Um, do we cover it? You know, again, I want to make sure that you have an, enough time if you wanted to go through more. Yeah. So you guys are probably thinking, what about campaigns? What about products? Right. Um, same thing, right? So one thing that you guys probably will want to look at is, did you increase a certain product um, sales? So for example, you can also do that with custom reports. Single metric deep dive report is the one you, you want to use. And then look at metrics, place order, total and sum. Group filter I have is items and then whatever time frame you want. Now to give you guys a clear view of what I do with the Google Sheets with this is, let's see, raw one. So we have all the products here. And with all the products, you can have the same thing like before, all the time frames. This one I usually do like same thing by month. Um, so it's not broken up by week by week. Then I look at my graph and then I can see, okay, once this loads again, uh, let's see, let's try to change products. There you go. So once this loads, I can see, okay, month by month, we have increased this product. Like last month, it was at 911 orders versus in February, it was at 254. So you're like, oh shoot, what did I do? Like, why did people order more products? Was I featuring it more inside the campaigns? Um, was it popped up more recently inside the flows, et cetera, um, that you can find why do you increase this product? And if you can go ahead and venture out this product into its own campaign. Now you have campaign ideas with this because now you can do feature product products um, campaigns to sell this product more because people like it. Or you can talk to your um, your client or you can talk to your e-commerce if you have an e-commerce owner or something like that. Um, you guys can look at this and make bundles. You know, people are buying more of this print and then another print. That's two offers that you guys can make with the, um, those two products to put push towards campaigns. Um, that's how I use the product sheets, the product customer reports for that, to really look at what have we been pushing the most, what have people been buying? And then you also could look at, um, for instance, this one right here, no one bought this product at all. So we don't wanna show this product either in product images, we don't wanna show this product in anything at all, like reviews, nothing, because no one's interested in it, right? So we only wanna show products that people are actually buying. Um, and honestly, looking at these products too, you wanna to also think about what are people buying that I'm not showing? So if people are buying things that you're not showing in your emails, so let's say that I was doing this product right here, right? The water bottle sleeve. But I saw that people were buying a whole bunch of hot socks in this email. And then you go to your data and you're like, oh shoot, 300 people bought it or something, right? That month. Now you're like, okay, I'm not gonna have this campaign no more. I'm gonna have this campaign, you know, push that one product more than that other product. 
So that's kind of the thinking you guys will have to do with that. And I like same same type of concept. I like doing this because I can see everything in one instead of going campaign by campaign. Because you guys can look at this in campaigns. It will show you what SKU was the highest bar in that campaign, et cetera. But this way, you can just look at it all at once. <laughs> um, and the last one is campaigns, obviously. This one, same setup as the flows, place order, unique profiles, place order value. Now with this one, the perfect thing I love about this one is that the send time, if you are testing send times manually or using smart send, um, or even looking at your dates that you're sending emails to, um, you can go ahead and you can pull all of that, your list, um, the day of the week and see, okay, what trends are happening? Am I, do, I, do I have a higher open rate, higher CTR on Sundays? Um, does this segment work better on Saturdays and Sundays than this segment does? You know, look at those trends to see how can I optimize my revenue? How can I optimize my open rates? How can I optimize my click-through rates? So you can guys can you know have the best results, obviously, you know? So yeah. Yeah, this is this is great. I really appreciate you you walking through this. I guess the, the last question I have is like, how often are you doing this for yourself or for clients? Are you doing this weekly, monthly, quarterly? Like how often are you actually going through this exact um, process? I go through this process, I would say monthly. So every month, I like doing it monthly because it gets it's a lot of more data. Um, you can see more every week by week. Like I, as you saw, the trend was like 163 to like 400 in one week. <laughs> so it's like, if you're able to have all that data for 30 days, then you be able to make better decisions um, and have like a better test window, I guess. Amazing. Well, this was fantastic. Thank you so much for the insights and your time. For anyone that wants to ask questions, follow along, connect with you, whatever they want to do with, you know, you, what's the best way for someone to reach out or get Twitter. in touch? Twitter. You guys can hit me up on Twitter. Um, Denara Crawford at Twitter. That's a complete Twitter handle. So it's going to be a baby profile picture. Sweet, man. <laughs> Sweet. I'll, I'll drop a, I'll drop your handle below this video. And thank you so much for your time and the info. Thank you. Really appreciate it.